Hello and thank you for watching. I'm Ashley Van Dyke with Advantage Software, and on today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the Setup Vocabulary plugin, which is helpful for Boost and Boost Flow. If you're not already a voice user, then you're probably unfamiliar with the concept of vocabularies. But one of the options that you have if you're using Boost and Boost Flow is to provide the system the proper spellings of words and names and phrases that, that you might encounter during a transcription. You're likely already doing a little bit of prep work before jobs, and so this is just one extra step that you can use to make sure that you'll get the most help out of Boost and Boost Flow as possible. When you're using Boost and Boost Flow, you have the option of providing a vocabulary list to the speech engine to help it produce the results that you want. This can help guarantee that you get the proper spelling of proper names of people, places, things, and companies. The vocabulary builder is within a plugin. I'm going to go to support, plugins, plugin store. And in this list, I'm going to find Eclipse RSR utilities and I'll click download. Since this is a speech recognition utility, this is the plugin that will contain this tool. Once I've downloaded Eclipse RSR utilities, I can go to Support, Plugins, Manage Plugins, select Eclipse RSR Utilities, and press Enable. I'll click OK, and I'll restart Eclipse as directed. Now that I have Eclipse RSR Utilities downloaded and enabled, I can go to Tools, Real Time, and Setup Vocabulary is now an option. There are two ways that this plugin can be used. You can either use it manually, which I'll show you first, or with a word list. So I'm going to choose Setup Vocabulary. I'm going to choose what to name this vocab dictionary. So I'm going to give this dictionary a name and then press OK. It'll ask me to create the dictionary, and I'll click Yes. And now, before I move on in the plugin steps, I want to direct your attention to the name of the dictionary. I just typed in athlete names, however, it's given me athlete names hyphen vocab in all caps. In order for Boost and Boost Flow to benefit from a dictionary, it must have the word vocab in all caps in the dictionary name. And Eclipse takes care of this step for you by automatically adding it if you don't. Now Eclipse asks me if I want to preload from a word list in text file format. And for the first example, I'm going to choose no. And so for this example, I'm just going to put in my first name and my last name. And I'll press OK. And if I want to add more lists, Eclipse gives me the option to do so. Or I can just press OK to finish. And so now what I have is a dictionary that says Ashley should equal Ashley and Van Dyke should equal Van Dyke. This on its face might not seem very helpful. However, this gives Boost and Boost Flow an idea of the spellings that it should use when it hears words that sound like this. What I could also do is expand some of these entries. For Ashley, I could do something like Ashley and this will ensure that every spelling or phonetic pronunciation that sounds like Ashley comes out spelled A-S-H-L-I. However, just having entry equals entry in the list will help Boost and Boost Flow give you better suggestions. It's not necessary to put in every possible spelling or every possible phonetic pronunciation, particularly when you're working with a large list. And let's try that next. This plugin also works using a word list, and you can use a word list that's built using the Analyze Documents tool. So I'm going to go to Tools, Analyze Documents. I'll select a few documents for it to analyze, and I'll press OK. And once the analysis is finished, Eclipse opens up a list of all of the words that are not in my dictionary that it found within all of those documents. And if necessary, you can go through and edit this dictionary to remove anything you might not like 
such as this entry, which is obviously just steno that I missed. So I'm going to finalize my list of words that I'd like to use for my dictionary. And I'm going to, again, tools, real time, set up vocabulary. I'm going to give my dictionary a name based on what type of entries I'm going to put in it or what I'm going to use the dictionary for. I'm going to create the blank dictionary. And you see at the top, it says Smith trial hyphen vocab again. And this time when it asks to preload from a word list, I'm going to select yes. And I'm going to select the analysis.txt that I just created. And I'll press OK. Once the vocab builder has finished, you'll have a list of word equals word. And these lists will help boost and boost flow, know which pronunciation and spelling match each other. You can always expand some of these entries with additional phonetic entries or additional spelling entries if you'd like. However, just creating these simple word equals word lists will help ensure that you get the best results possible from boost and boost flow. And the process can't be easier. Simply go to tools, real time, set up vocabulary, give your vocab dictionary any name that you'd like, such as the subject or trial name, create the blank dictionary, and then if you have a list of words, you can simply hit yes and import the list of words, or if you'd like to type a list of words instead, you can press no, type the list of words that you'd like to add with each word separated by a comma, and then press enter or click OK, and Eclipse will create a simple list of words with those entries. And if you want to add more, you can continue adding additional entries. If you've already created a vocab dictionary and you wish to add to it, just go to Tools, Real Time, Set Up Vocabulary, choose the dictionary you'd like to add to, and if you want to preload from a list, click Yes. Otherwise, click No. Type in each word you'd like to add to the word list separated by commas, hit enter or press OK, and you can continue adding any words that you'd like or just press enter. And now all of those additional words are in the dictionary. So you can continue building vocab dictionaries just like you build job dictionaries. Whenever you'd like to use a vocab dictionary that you've previously created to augment the results that you get from Boost or Boost Flow, all you have to do is go to Translate Notes, and in the Dictionaries list, click Add, and select the vocab dictionary that you'd like to use. By default, Eclipse is going to uncheck Use in Translation when you have a vocab dictionary entered, and that's normal, that's what you want. Because vocab dictionaries are used by the speech engine and not by Eclipse's translator. The vocab dictionary or dictionaries that you have selected will apply to whichever translations you have them selected for. If you don't want a vocab dictionary to apply to a translation, simply select it and hit remove. And when you move forward with this next translation, that vocab dictionary will not be present. Don't forget that Advantage Software offers anytime support. Tech support can be reached with any question anytime, including weekends and holidays at 772-288-3266. Email support is also available at support at eclipsecat.com. Thank you for watching this video. Please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications so that you'll be notified when we publish new content in the future. Thank you so much and have a great day.